Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. Join us as we go all across Wisconsin, visiting some Packers legends and touring their awesome Packers shrines, hosted by yours truly, Wyatt G. Make sure y'all stick along for this journey and remember, go Pack Go! Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. I'm your host, Wyatt G. We're back on our house tours with super fans all across Wisconsin. Today, we're with two very special guests. Jared and Easton. The Packers Insider. Now guys, thank you so much for inviting me into your lovely home. Absolutely, thanks for coming. Now, y'all got some things to show us, right? Quite Sit. a bit. Quite a bit, well, I say let's stop wasting time, let's get right on into it. All right, Easton, so we got some gloves right here. Tell us the story of how you got these and who are these people? So the first one is Benny Sapp right here, the mm. boy. And then you got running back Lou Nichols, seventh round pick. Um, brought little brother and sister to camp. They wanted to go one day and the players just walk in. I'm like, hey, see if you want gloves. And they were too afraid several times and they didn't, they didn't ask players. I'm like, that's fine. Just whenever you want to ask. And then one was really quiet. I'm like, you got to speak up. <laughs> And eventually they spoke up and we ended up getting Lou's and Benny's got signed, I think the week later. Nice. Not many people were there cause it did rain that day. Mm -hmm. So it was like a perfect opportunity. Now, how long have you been going to training camp for? Uh, every year since 2019, but we did go. You brought me years ago. Cause I have a picture with um, Corey Hall. It's, it was a ton of fun. And ever since then, I just love going. So would you say you got your inspiration to do all the training camps out from Pops right here? You know, he kind of taught you the ropes. Yeah, but for the autographs, I don't think he liked talking to people. <laughs> I was too old to try to get autographs. <laughs> Nobody wants to sign for me. I mean, you tell me, I'm getting too old for that? No. Easton had the right idea he brought the kids yes. with. Yes, you gotta use the bait. Now, you've got a lot of autographs around here as well. What are some of like your favorites and what are some of your favorite stories? Definitely Aaron Jones. Uh, he's always one of the nicest people. Recognize me and I don't have it here, but it's one of his camps, I think his second camp he had in El Paso. Mm -hmm. um, they had they had camp t-shirts and his parents before his dad passed actually gave me one of the shirts and I got it signed from Aaron. So right now it's um, hanging up back in my place. It's signed right there with the signed jersey too. How do you feel that uh, about Aaron Jones no longer? I'm sad. He went to the Vikings of all, of all the teams. <laughs> He could have went anywhere else. Now, Jared, where did your passion for the Packers start? I know where Easton's came from, but what about yours? Uh, my parents took me to training camp like in the early, early 90s. I would say like 91 or 92. They gave me a notebook and I got guys like Perry Kemp and Blair Keel autographs. Like nobody popular, but it was fun. It was still fun. <laughs> what was your favorite part about growing up in Green Bay? Because you're from Green Bay, correct? Yes. What was your favorite part about growing up being a Packers fan here? Um, I would say just walking outside and seeing green and gold like everywhere. That's that's awesome. My parents live like 20 minutes from the stadium. So anytime we'd go into Green Bay, we'd always go past Lambeau and mm. just like historicness of this is just, it's awesome. That's all about, right? It's just being part of this community. It means more than just the city itself. Oh yeah, absolutely. What are some of your fondest memories with Easton and the Packers? Oh geez, oh geez, <laughs> there's there's a lot. Other than training camp, we went to a couple celebrity softball games. Let me give you a really tough question. Which quarterback are you taking? Star, Favre, or Rodgers? Favre, 100% Favre. Easton? I would definitely go for Rodgers, I mean. Different Favre's, generations Favre's are going with good. that. Favre was good, but he was too wild with the ball. I mean, he what, he leads the league like all time in picks. Yeah, but he's a gunslinger. That's what makes it fun. He is. Yeah. But he Rogers is calculated and he knows, like he has a perfect spiral. It's it's being taught everywhere. Yeah, but he yells at everybody. Barb didn't do that. Well, either way, let us know your comments. <laughs> Which quarterback you're taking, let us know down below. Make it a spicy debate. All right, Easton, you were talking about that J.J. Watt jersey, right? Yeah. What's the story behind <laughs> it? When the Texans were announced that they were in town for, you know, first joint practice and I want to say 20 years. J.J. Watt, everyone wanted J.J. Watt. Hometown guy, I mean, right. he's a hometown kid. Pilwaukee, went to the Badgers, might as well. So my dad had a jersey and I was going to camp every single day. Like, I did not miss a day. Even if it wasn't the Texans during practice, I was there. I brought the Watt jersey every day and I sat where the Texans were coming out, got a ton of Texans stuff signed. The final day after practice, because he got hurt. 
Mm. So we're like, we don't know if he's walking back. He walked out 20 minutes after everyone. And he walks out, I hold it up. He, I was the first person he signed. So I'm packing it up, because I went to go drop it off my dad at work. And it actually put him in tears, because his favorite player. Yeah, awesome. I was like in tears. Really <laughs> he was. Is that your favorite player? I yeah. take it, or really? Favorite player of all time. Really, why all time? That's, I mean, we haven't heard that one yet. Homegrown. Yeah, Wisconsin boy. Not even a Packer though, which is surprising. Doesn't matter. He could have been a Packer. Yeah, oof. Yeah, it could have been. Could have been. I don't know, just his character. Um, probably, I would say, the the Hurricanes and donating all that money. Mm. Like, yeah, he's just a good guy. All right, Easton, you got a bunch of game balls or sign balls, correct? Yes. What are they all from? 2001 XFL ball. My dad's actually, I think this is the Duke. It is signed though. Willie Wood. Okay, okay. Packers Hall of Famer. You got a few up here. I think this was from a, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was a softball game. Probably D Donald Drivers, huh? Yep. Then we got uh, James Jones. And funny story about him. When I was a kid, one of my brothers and I, we were doing like a shared birthday party. Greg Jennings and James Jones had a show. So we went on there and we asked one question. We invited them to the party. Jones said he would go. Greg said maybe. Jones didn't, so we were a little sad. Somebody pulled some magic, I think her stepmom did, and he showed up to our school actually. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes signed for all of us. A ton of fun. Uh, this one's a training camp ball. I think that's Brett Swain. Here, just Super Bowl ball. I think that's Greg Jennings. So you've been showing up to the training camp, getting autographs for the past how many years? Four? Yeah, about four. Give or take. 19. Now, you got that one right there, right? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, what is your favorite training camp story? Getting an <laughs> autograph or just an encounter with a player? Possibly Patrick Taylor. I mm. uh, showed up to this last training camp and I bought one of his shirts. He knew it. He's a great guy, I love talking to him. And I show up in his shirt and he saw me instantly. He was like, oh my God, you actually bought this shirt? I'm like, yeah, I told you. You're up in the brand, right? Yes, sir. Got to. My first training camp when Jones' rookie year, actually. I told him who I was because I ran Aaron Jones' page at first. I talked to him a little bit before that, but he actually, and this is before all the like, construction underground parking where yeah. they were before. He came out from the gate and actually took a picture with me, my little brother, and sister. So it was just a whole group, group photo. That was great. And of course, can't forget the <laughs> Quadzilla finds his footing. Signed by yours truly, the one and only Quadfather AJ Dillon. Great book. Have you read this book, Easton? Have you read this book? Hey, I like the value of it. Mm. Thinking untouched. Keep it signed, not touching it. If I have kids one day, I will make them read it. All right, let's know in the comments, fake fan or not, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you very much for having us in your establishment today. Of course. Now, do you have any final messages for people for this upcoming year? Go Pack Go. Go Pack Go and uh, F the Bears. You're already here. Make sure you like, subscribe. See you guys on our next video. Go Pack Go.